I was motivated to write the book for a couple of reasons. One is that uh, in the course of working with patients, it became surprisingly clear that the information that we were providing for them about these new discoveries in neuroscience and attachment were having great impact, not only in their way, in the way that they understood their own emotional lives, but also as we connected this with scripture and spiritual disciplines and stories of faith, people began to report that their lives with God were changing remarkably. So this wasn't something that I would have expected. It was something that seemed to happen in spite of anything that I was expecting to begin with. Those stories began to grow. I started to speak with some friends about these things and this led to a couple of seminars that I did with our church. And there was an overwhelmingly positive response. And out of that seminar, people began to say, this would be really helpful if you were to write this in a book format because we would like to be able to read this again and again. That's one motivation for this. I think the other motivation has been that um, there have been uh, people in my sphere of professional circles who have, uh, some of whom are believers and some of whom aren't, who have found this uh, new way of thinking about the Bible, new way of imagining their relationship with God to be so transformative that even those professionals have been eager for me to write this, not just for the personal use of patients, but for their own personal use in helping their patients move forward in their lives.